creative. I'm just to dye hair. Yes, I am. I'm just to dye my hair. Yes, I said it. I get so happy when it's when I'm doing hair tour because who don't want to be creative? Who don't want to make them make some colors up? So today intro, today vlogmas that I'm going to do. I'm gonna bleach my hair. I'm gonna do like an ombre. I'm gonna do like an ash brown, ash blonde, like in a front two pieces. It's gonna be kind of like brownish going into like a lighter brown and back into the ash brown. So it's gonna be like an ombre look thing. So I'm gonna like. Show you guys my prep, my routine of what I'm doing to get to the prepping to get the dye. Cause first I'm gonna bleach the hair, then I'm gonna let it sit. And while I'm bleaching the hair, I'm gonna bleach my frontal with a 40 developer, and I'm gonna let it sit for probably what like 40 minutes to an hour, or I'm gonna let it sit until I see my notches bleached. Okay? I'm not. We don't want it to stand that too long because we don't need no orangey looking scalp or whatever. Then I'm going to have to go back and fix it. And I, who wants to do that? Who want to go through the drama? Who want to go through the trouble? Not me. Okay, so let's jump right into it because your girl feel like she talking too much. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, my life, the way I am living, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. You know your girl got to get in the camera when she say, ring the bell. And stay tuned. So, what I did was I got everything out and I put a 40, 40 developer in here and I just mixed it up because I wanted it to look like real thick. I didn't put a lot because I don't think I'm gonna really need a lot. I mean, it's just me. That's my opinion. Everybody do their hair different, but this is how I do mine. And I don't tell nobody else how to do that. So, uh, don't tell your girl how to do it. No, I'm just playing. Y'all can give me tips if you feel like your girl ain't doing it right. You know? You know, ain't front no perfect. But this, this is what I did. It needs to be thick like this, though, when you're doing bleaching your knots on your frontal. The end way. Let's check the hair out. Hair by Charlie, honey. My cousin sell her, y'all. And she got a, a clothing beauty, boutique. Oh, and it's so beautiful. It's really pink and it's really like pretty. So if y'all local at anything, y'all can come down here to pull out to because he's tonight that far, but like what 45 minutes away, honey. Y'all can come out here. It's um it's called Charlie Boutique. Okay, keeping it cute. Alright, keeping it cute by Charlie, honey. And she sells bundles. That's where I get my hair from. And the texture is like really good. So Here's the name where well, y'all can like go to. It's a really good hair company. By the way, this is a 18. I have three bundles. They are straight Brazilians. Uh, one of my bundles is 18 because my frontal. Uh, when I did the frontals, they only had a 14 and 18, and I got my frontal in 18, and then I just got one bundle in the 18, and then my other two bundles is the 20. So, girl, this will be so late. Honey, we're gonna make sure I get this together. This is the 18. Look at the hair. Like, ooh. Body coming through. Swing, swing, swinging things. You feel me? Ooh, girl, because when I put this in, I'm be like, ha, who, me? You, you call me, honey? You call me? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna but I'm gonna flip it like that, and y'all gonna be like, that girl thinks she's the shit, and I'm gonna be like, I am. Cause this hair is keep me cute by Charlie, honey. But this is the 18. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna say, they sent me the room. Anyway, I just wanted to show y'all. Look. You see me, bitches? Yes. I'm about to, I'm, I'm trying to stop cursing y'all, but I don't know if it's going to stop working. But look, it's like, look. Picky boo. <laughs> like, look, check it out. Like, the hair is, and it's long to say it's the 18. Like, it's long. I feel like it's a 20. It's, like, really long. The hair quality, look, you can tell. It's, like, really silk, really soft. I'm telling y'all. 
don't sleep on them, okay? But anyway, I think, but most of the hair is gonna be this, um, this dark brown by, um, what, what is it? Royal, whatever the name is. Um, it's dark brown, so that would be like a 20. I got two boxes of them. You're gonna need two boxes because you want most of the hair. The way I'm getting it, I need two boxes because I want the hair to. Oh, let's stay focused. Bam, there we go. I want the hair to be like a dark brown. I kind of want my roots to stay um, black, just a little, not like really all black. And then after that, I'm going to go in with ombre. So I'm going to put this like kind of close to the ends and then it's gonna be like in the front and this is an ash blonde um this is a medium ash blonde this is a 70 and then i'm gonna go in like through the brown it's gonna be like ombre so this is like a um a dark it's kind of, it's, it's a brown but it's like a, a lighter brown color and it's a number 31 so we're gonna use these four and it's gonna be enough because of what I want to do. But if you want to do it different or you're trying to do different things, I really don't know what to tell you. But I'm just telling you how I'm doing my hair. This is how I'm doing it. Okay. So let's jump into it, honey. So I told y'all the first thing I'm gonna do is bleach the knot. So that's what your girl about to do. I'm gonna move my baby hairs back. Yes. Okay, guys, so I finished. Ugh. I finished it. This is how it look. I'm going to let it sit for like 40 to like 40 minutes, probably to an hour, depending on if it, if the notches, if I start seeing it like bleaching flash. So basically, I'm just going to base it on when I start seeing it bleaching, okay? But normally, some people put leave it on for like 40 minutes to an hour, but it really depends on the quality of the hair and like if you did the steps right, but there's no way to get the step wrong. And when you're applying the bleach on it, make sure you don't like rub it in. Gently put it on, but make sure that the bleach is thick. You don't want it watery, you want it thick, okay? Because we want the bleach. And I did a 40 developer. Um, some people use 50, but I'm using 40 because that's what my cousin told me and other people, and I'm using 40, so. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with my 20 inch bundles. I'm gonna rub my hands through it to make sure it's nothing tangled. You can tell the hair is good because the hair, you can just go right through it. There's no tangles or anything. The hair, the quality is very good, okay? I'm gonna go through, bleach it. I'm gonna unwrap it. This is how my hair came out. I think it's light enough because you, I'm, the color I'm going for, I need it to be like a honey blonde. But okay guys, so I'm just giving y'all a little quick update. Okay guys, I just wanna give y'all another quick update on what I am doing. I am going with my ends with this ash blonde. I did um, a 70, you could do a 60, um, but I chose to do a 70. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the ash blondes with my tip because the hair dry. I got me a spray bottle of water to like spray the hair so it can get like a little wet so I can like put the products on there. But um, I'm gonna do my edges with my ends with this with ash blonde and I'm gonna go in with my root with a, a 47. It's gonna be this part, the root's gonna be like a 47. 
and that that is a medium rich brown with um roll on i'm gonna go in with my roots with that and after i do this i'm gonna go back in after everything is done like with my roots i'm gonna go in and do a 31 with um red line um to make like the ombre and then in the front i'm gonna do my two pieces with ash blonde in the um, front with the two pieces hanging down so I guess I'm just gonna show y'all a little bit of what I'm gonna do. Oh, and you see, I section it off. Like, I section them with like in plaits like this. And then I took some of my pieces that I want to be like unbraided or whatever, and then I like plaited it. I plaited the pieces. Cause this is what the piece is gonna be ash blowing right here. So let's just uh, I think it make it more easier and you are gonna need four paper. I think this just Ooh. so as you guys can see I did my dark brown in my roots and then I went down here with my ash blonde. You can see it stopped right, right there with my ash blonde. You'll probably see the color better when it's finished. When I get the that part, I go in. And on my fall paper. Okay, so as you can see, I did this, uh, finished doing all the color, and then I like put this part paper on the back of it. So now I'm gonna move to the front of the wig, and I'm gonna do these two parts, ash blonde. Not ash blonde. It's gonna be this. I'm gonna do the front of this, this ash blonde color. me and keeping up with me lately i have a previous video when i had did my own hair or tutorial on how i insert my own wig everybody had their own different opinions on how they insert their own wig this is how i do mine everybody is free to do whatever they want to do to their hair i'm not saying my technique i mean my technique for me is good i'm not saying the technique that i do works for everybody so this is showing you a technique of how i insert my wig so i put my cap on and then I'm gonna use this got to be glue spray on my um cap. I'm gonna spray it, I'm gonna go through and blow dry it. So I just want to show y'all that I use this to do my baby hairs and I put this on my baby hairs as well. I put this Souk Shiny on my hair so um, the color can pop more 
making sure I put a handful and I wiped it on to my hair. And really, that's about it. So now all I'm supposed to do, I actually did my baby hairs off the camera because it'd be hard for me to do my baby hairs on camera. So I actually did it off the camera. So all I'm supposed to do is just go in and blow dry my hairs so I can style it, but I'm not gonna show you how to style it on this video. I will show you the styling on the next video, okay? guys i am done and i love the color how the color came out i can't wait to i actually style it for y'all can see what it's gonna look out but i'm not gonna style it tonight i'm gonna actually style it in the next video tomorrow so i guess y'all see me in the next vlogmas day i want to thank everybody for watching me and going on this journey with me that supports me don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification if you want to keep up with your girl okay and see more leave comments down below or like dm me on instagram or snapchat if you want to see more hat tutorials and color dyes i'm gonna do more but this is it i love you guys and happy vlogmas day